to find keywords that an Amazon product is ranking for. So first of all, why is this important and how can it make you money? If you're a new Amazon seller, how are you going to get sales? Of course, you're going to use advertising, but you have to know what keywords to advertise for. On Amazon, the beauty about selling on the platform, as many of you know, is that Amazon has tons and tons of traffic already. Every day, millions of people are going to the platform and how are they looking for products? Well, they're using search terms. They're typing in things like collagen peptides or coffin shelf into the search bar on their mobile phone or on their desktop, and then they're looking at the search results. Then what comes up are a bunch of products that are relevant to that keyword. So it's important to be towards the top of the search results to get the most visibility for your product because Amazon shoppers might be only looking at page one or page two. It's important that if our product is relevant to the keyword that we are showing up to the at the top of the search results, or at least it's possible that we're going to show up at the top of the search results or anywhere in the search results. So we need to know what keywords to put in our listing, right? So that's why it's important. It's going to make you tons of money because you are going to be searchable for a keyword. Uh, you'll never make one cent on, from a sale on a keyword because you're not going to be indexed for that if you don't have the right keywords, all right? So let's go ahead and hop into the strategy so that you can see how to do it. You start off by analyzing your product or maybe your competitor's product. And what you do is you copy their ASIN and that's the identification number for every product on Amazon. And then you can just paste it right into the Cerebro search bar. And then you're going to go ahead and hit get keywords now. So once you do that, after a few seconds, the entire list of keywords are going to show up. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that when you run a search, there is a button on Cerebro that says exclude variation. And here's the first thing that probably 90% of you don't realize is that if you enter in an ASIN that has variation, that means that it has different colors or there's maybe different sizes. And if you don't select exclude variations, when you hit the keywords, it's going to get you, show you keywords that any one of those variations are ranking for. Like if there's a green shelf, a green coffin shelf, a pink coffin shelf, a black coffin shelf, the keywords that come up and are in the results are basically where any one of those particular products are ranking. So if you wanted to say, Hey, I want to only see what keywords the pink coffin shelf is ranking for, then you have to hit that exclude variation button. So that's super, super important for all that. All right. Now, as you can see, I didn't select it here on this example that I'm showing on the video here. And I got a total of 1,749 keywords that came up here. It says 1600 and 16 are organic. And then there's another 333 paid. So the organic means those are just the regular search results. The paid are the sponsored kinds of results. Now, if I wanted to see all the keywords that this product was organically ranking for, it's going to actually show me from anywhere where we have detected this product from one all the way to 306. And the reason for that is because that's pretty much the only products that show up in the search results, all right? You might see search results that say, hey, one to 50 out of 10,000 products, but really only usually the first 306 products show up on the first seven pages. So what we're showing in Cerebro here for the organic rank are all the keywords that sometime in the last 30 days, Helium 10 has detected the search results. So it doesn't mean it's going to match your search results, you know, from your browser, because say you're searching today, well, maybe we searched a few days ago. Uh, if you want to know from what time the search happened, just put your mouse over the last column, organic rank at the rank, and then it'll say something like less than seven days or between seven and 30 days. All right, it's never going to be beyond 30 days. So these are, this is not an estimate. These are exact ranks that we're taking some of some period of time. So now, as I said before, you know, if this is a competitor ASIN you're looking at, or even your own, that you maybe want to know what keywords these products are getting sales from. Well, you kind of can deduce, you know, where they're getting most of their sales because the way the Amazon algorithm works is if you're getting sales then you're going to be ranked towards the top of page one. So what you would do is you would use the organic rank filter here, the minimum and the maximum and say, Hey, show me the keywords that are between one and 50. And if you do that, it's going to go ahead and filter out any of the keywords that that product is showing up for in the top 50 results. And the last time that helium 10 checked. And a lot of these keywords, especially the high volume search search terms, the only way that it could have gotten here to the top of the search is because it has gotten sales from that keyword. Now I said high search volume. We're going to talk a little bit about search volume later, but if you want to filter out filter for search volume, you could go ahead and put a minimum and maximum in the search volume box. One last thing is if you want to filter out the only words that are showing up organically, you would go into the match type filter and then select select organic. 
There's all kinds of other match types here you guys are going to see, and I'm going to be going over each and every one of them in later strategies. So that's the first strategy you're going to learn today. And that's probably where you should do if you have your own product. That's what I would want you to do. If you're going, if you're going to get started with Helium Temp, put your product into Cerebro, take a look at the organic words that you're ranking for. If you don't have a product or you're doing some product research, take a competitor, uh, ASIN, and then stick it in there and play around with those filters and see where the products is getting its sales from.